Right, go on, oh wait. All right, just on our way to the unit, picking up a few bits on the way. Um, everything that we've bought so far, sort of maintenance and hardware wise, has been from a couple of places in crew, which is the opposite direction from the unit, but I've just discovered We've got two very useful suppliers about a mile away from the unit. Here's the first one. Good old screw fix. Getting the water heater and the pipe fittings and whatnot from there. Um, and I need a couple of bits of tools as well. So next door to screw fix. Tool station. Fantastic. That saved me a lot of time. So a little shopping list of bits uh, for the electrical stuff. Um, I'm going to get this in of a fashion. Obviously, I'll get the electrician to check it all out. But a switch fuse spur, some flex, a um, bit of twin and earth to uh, connect the spur into the ring, a uh, box of uh, twin and earth clips. Uh, a couple of John Guest speed fit um, half inch connectors, um, isolation valve, and not for the um, not for the water heater, but for the for the copper, uh, a BAS big ass spanner for taking those immersion heaters out. The heater that I've gone for, I'll show you in a second, but it's an Ariston. It's an under sink. Uh, mount because it's about 25 quid cheaper than the oversink mount. The only difference is the water inputs are on the bottom on the oversink and on the top on the above sink. Um, and I'm not that bothered about having the pipes on show, it doesn't really matter in here. So I'll save the 25 quid and use a couple of elbows.
complicated than it needed to be. It's up at least, um, does need to be checked and uh, the electrical's made sure it's all safe. So um, the electrician I think is coming next week to do some other stuff. So we won't, we won't use it till then. I'll just, um, I'll let him check it's all be done okay and fix anything that isn't. It's on a spur off the ring uh, with his own 13 amp fused switch supply. Um, cables all neat and tidy. Um, yeah, it seems to be working. It's hot as well. Um, I just whacked it on max, but I think halfway is probably hot enough just for hand washing and things that we need. I uh, had a good couple of showers when we were installing it all, uh, fortunately. Um, turned the water on and leaks were springing out of everything. But those John Guest fittings are a little bit iffy sometimes uh, if you don't just quite push them all the way home. Anyway, we're all watertight now and, uh, and sealed. Um, I do have that left over which is the pressure release valve, it's a six bar. So um, I, I definitely need to get that on. Uh, I just didn't have the right fittings to, um, to connect that. So back to screw fix or, um, or the other one, tool station tomorrow uh, to get that sorted. Um, and we're ready to go with hot water so we can start cleaning stuff properly now. Uh, these sinks need a bit of a de uh, degrease. Uh, and obviously where we've been chipping the floor out, there's a bit of dust on the surface, so we'll get rid of that. So, uh, so that'll be nice to have. So it's only 15 litre water here is enough for us. And obviously we'll have the HLT at some point with a little bit more um, capacity in that for other hot water should we need it.
I think I'm going to need some uh, WD-40 or something in it, just to uh, get in the threads. It ain't moving at all. I'm just frightening. I'm just frightening that I'm going to going to snap it anti-clockwise to undo it. Oh, maybe that's the reason. Oh. I don't mind cutting these cables because they need swapping anyway. They're a bit old and perished. Ah, okay. Why is the other one not like that? No, that's, I definitely had it. Look at that, it's just like carbon underneath. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it came out. really shiny there. This uh, lime scale, I can only describe it as I'm pretty sure it is, on the top and then below is a black layer, which I don't know if that's the corrosion of the metal, I don't know if that's the corrosion of the metal or uh, just a burnt on coating. I've scraped away a bit of it there and it's shiny underneath but it doesn't really you know what for the sake of to replace these as they are I think about 30 quid each I'll probably just do it um, still can't even tell what metal that is I'm guessing it's brass. Yeah, it is. It's all the same casting, isn't it? Yeah, it's brass. So, um, that's going to need regular replacement if it's brass, I think, with the cleaning products. Well, there you go. Bernie.